I think it's safe to say that we were all very shocked when we saw Gorilla take the stage during Gamescom as we got a surprise appearance from Matthias de Jong, the game director for Horizon Forbidden West. He explained that when they showed the gameplay a couple months ago at PlayStation State of Play, the game had just passed a huge milestone and had entered the last stages of development. Although they were on track, they were still uncertain if they would be able to polish their game to the level of quality that they strive for before the initial 2021 suggested release. He also went on to explain the impacts that the pandemic had on their team and how they had to adapt and adjust to the new ways of working. But now we finally have a release date and we will all be able to go west on Friday the 18th of February 2022, nearly five years after the release of Zero Dawn on February 28th 2017. But that's not all, pre-orders will be available for both PS4 and PS5 on Thursday, September 2nd, so be sure to keep an eye on their socials for more information. As of yet, Guerrilla have not given a time that this will be going live. This could mean that we could see multiple additions to purchase that include bonus content like Zero Dawn had with the statues, extra outfits, still books, and a lot of other collectible items. I'd like to see a claw strider in this collector's edition, but let me know what you guys want to see. And just when we thought it couldn't get any better, Matthias goes on to announce an enhanced performance patch including 60 FPS for Horizon Zero Dawn that is available to download on your PlayStation 5 right now for free. Thank you so much for watching, feel free to subscribe as I have a lot more Forbidden West videos coming soon. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave it a like and I'll talk to you in the next one.